Hi, everyone. My name is Austin Rios. I'm a communications and outreach intern here at the National Program Office uh, for the Summer Health Professional Education Program. Um, and today in this short video, I want to talk to you a little bit about our transcript policies as it applies to getting your application completed um, as we do require a transcript from your university um, as a part of our application process. Over the years, we receive a number of questions on how to satisfy this requirement. And we understand that students oftentimes have a lot of nuances with their transcripts and their academic history at the collegiate level. So we wanted to talk a little bit about these transcript requirements and hopefully answer some of your most frequently asked questions. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on in right with it. So we do require a transcript from every single post-secondary institution that you've attempted coursework at, whether or not you've received credit or not. I think one of the most frequently asked questions I receive as it pertains to this, um, this slide and the information on it um, is if you were a high school student that took maybe a dual credit program and took some um, college classes at a community college, you may ask, do I need to submit those coursework? And the answer is yes. We do need to see those courses um, and the grades that you ultimately received on those in those courses as well. Um, similarly, if you went to high school and ended up going to community college, um, but later went on to go to a four-year university and transferred those courses uh, from your community college, we also still need to see your community college coursework that, com uh, that you completed while there as well. This includes, this is important to note that we need transcripts from each university or college that you attended. Um, so for example, if you went to a community college or another kind of university before your ultimate university where you are now, uh, we will require an official transcript from that institution, even if the institution that you are currently at um, reflects the grades that you received at your previous institution as well. That can be a little complicated, um, I understand, but anytime you took classes on the collegiate level, we need to see transcripts directly from the university or college that you attended. Um, and similarly, you can read below uh, that we do require your any kind of transcript that you may have received if you were in the military or any kind of college, American college or university that while studying abroad. Um, so this is this is information for you to review here. Um, ultimately, I would say this: if you took classes at a collegiate level, whether or not you they were applied to your degree or not, we need to see them um, in order to process your application fully. So before you have your transcript sent to us, you want to make sure that your transcript is deemed official um, by the National Program Office. Otherwise, we will not be able to process your or your transcript and ultimately complete your application on our end. Um, this is really important because over the years, students oftentimes um, order an official transcript from their university's registrar's office. And unfortunately, they choose to have that transcript sent directly to themselves, and then they send it to us afterwards. Um, and in those cases, we no longer consider them official transcripts. An official transcript, um, it needs to come from your university or college directly. Um, so for example, at my two previous universities, I went to a community college and then a four-year undergrad, um, they use a system called Parchment, um, which is a very, very well-known clearhouse um, Soft or organization and software that runs transcript services for universities. Um, they There's an option there that you click to send an official transcript and you can input the um, recipient so that it goes to the right person or organization. And in a few slides, I'll be sure to talk to you a little bit about um, what you need to input into those sections so that you can have it sent directly to us. Um, and in this slide, we want to talk to you a little bit about the timing of getting your transcripts sent in to us. Um, as a quick tip from a former ambassador for our program, the program office usually is very inundated with transcripts, letters of recommendation, very close to the deadline, which is usually in early spring. You want to try and beat the curve a little bit. Um, it usually works out better. That way you're not waiting so long to see your transcripts and your letter recommendation populate on your application portal. So my, my tip as a former ambassador will be to uh, make sure you apply or get in your transcripts and letters of recommendation as early as you possibly can. Um, but as it applies to this slide, we want to really push the fact that anything that we require, and this goes again to the transcripts and letters of recommendation, they need to be postmarked by the deadline. So for example, and this may not apply to every single year based on how the calendar works, 
But let's say the deadline for applying to our program is February 14th. Well, that means that everything that is required for us, um, as far as getting them sent directly to us, which are the letters of recommendation and, um, and transcripts, it needs to be postmarked, i.e. sent out by your university through the mail system um, by February 14th. If you ordered them, let's say on February 13th, and your university doesn't send them out until the 16th, we won't be able to process those applic uh, those application materials because they're no longer postmarked by the certain time or, or date that we require them to be by. Um, so again, really getting ahead of this is really important. Uh, oftentimes trying to order your stuff um, the day before or the day of may not yield the best result um, based on how your university ultimately operates. Um, do uh, do note, though, that if you have your application materials postmarked by the deadline and we don't receive them because it takes a week or it takes a few days for the post to get them to us and ultimately for us to process and upload them to your application, that is all right. We will still process them so long as your application materials are postmarked by the deadline. Um, and as a quick note, if you don't see your application um, material that you have sent in to us, within uh, after about 10 business days or so, please reach out to us um, just so that we can take a look and make sure we haven't missed your documents in any place. Um, as I mentioned before, here is the information that you should use so that you can get your transcripts sent to us. Um, we offer two ways for you to get your application or your um, transcripts sent to us. One way is for your university to have them send it to us electronically um, so, for example, in Parchment, it will ask for the recipient, the name, so you can put the National Program Office, SHPEP, um, and then for the email address, you can input this, SHPEP transcripts at AAMC.org. The second mode that you can have your transcripts sent to us is via um, regular old Pulse Mail system, SHPEP at this address sent here, um, shown here below. You don't have to do both. Um, as a quick tip, I think getting them, getting your official transcript sent in via electronic way is usually a, a bit faster. That way you're not, that way you're cutting out almost the middleman of the USPS uh, system so that you don't have to worry so much about how long is, you know, the mail going to take for my transcript to get to DC and such. Um, but either way is completely acceptable. Um, oftentimes when you order a transcript through your registrar's portal system, or if you're, for example, parchment, uh, or any other kind of clear housing transcript service, you can oftentimes submit uh, a matching form with that transcript. Um, and we provide one for you for our application. And you can find this on our application page under the application material page on shbep.org. Um, all you have to do is fill it out, include your name, your um, application ID, um, and university and other information that may be on that form and ask that your registrar submit that matching form with your transcript. And when it gets sent to us and we ultimately receive it, we'll be able to match your transcript much faster to your application because we have the necessary information to match everything. Um, but do note that this is not required. Um, if it is possible though, um, we highly recommend it, but it is not a requirement if you're not able to do that. As a general reminder, we wanna make sure that your application, your transcript reflects all coursework that um, is, and it's up to date and it's ultimately final. Um, I can see this kind of playing way with two, two main situations, I'm sure there are more, uh, but let's say that you have to take an incomplete on a certain course because you were ill, but ultimately were granted some extra time to maybe finish the coursework later on. You wanna make sure that you ultimately have the final grade reported on your transcript before you order it and have it sent to us. That way we can um, have all your grades and have take those into account um, as we review your application. Great. Well, that really does complete every um, this quick summary of the transcript policies that we have for, for the S application. We did want to take a few minutes and just answer some really frequently asked questions that uh, we get uh, as ambassadors and here at the National Program Office. Um, and you can read through these um, frequently asked questions on our application portal or excuse me, on our application website um, on shbep.org if you need to see these again. Um, so the first topic, and I think this one really applied to me whenever I was applying to our program as a freshman, um, you may be thinking, you might be in this situation that 
Um, you're a first year student. You really don't have, there's no coursework beforehand because you're in your first semester. How do I get you grades? How do I get the SHPP guys some grades if I'm barely taking them? Well, the answer is you got to wait. <laughs> you got to wait for your fall grades to finalize and ultimately be reflected on your official transcript and then have them sent to us for that, for the, so that we can review them. We do not accept high school transcripts. Um, remember that we only need collegiate level coursework transcripts from each university that you've attended. Um, let's say you're applying to this program uh, for the second time. If you um, were not successful in your first application in your first round, perhaps in your first year, um, you may ask, do I still need to submit a new transcript for you to review? And the answer is yes. We need to have an updated transcript with any coursework that you've attempted after your first attempt at applying to our program. Um, but ultimately, we just needed to be updated and a more recent copy so, us, so that we can have. Um, and again, to reiterate, we do need individual transcripts from each college or university that you have attempted coursework at. If, you, if your university that you're currently at, for example, um, will reflect the grades that you earned at another university or institution, we still need those other grades from the other institution so that we can consider your application final with the transcript as, as, the, um, as it applies to the transcript requirement. Otherwise, that completes this short video on um, getting your transcript policy and your information into us. I wanna wish you the best luck as you apply to our program. And I really sincerely hope that we get to welcome you into the SHPP family and alumni base. Good luck in your application. Feel free to reach out to the National Program Office if you have any other questions uh, and be on the lookout. You might find an SHPP ambassador at your university or somewhere nearby that may be also available to answer some of your questions. Good luck.